What is going on guys? Welcome back to Swirly Plays Ellie Noir here on my YouTube channel Swirly Games. How are we doing today? We're getting back to some arson cases. We are, you know, coming down to the wire on this game now. Um, I also, before we get into what we're doing in the game, uh, all those fancy mic settings I had done to my microphone, I just took them all off. The audio sounds a little bit different, but I'm just hoping that, you know, you'll always hear me even if I move or if like my voice gets a little bit lower, like it's still being picked up. Before that shit was being like choppy and cutting out all over the place. It was probably the only thing more annoying than watching me do that was editing and just staring at five hours of footage of me doing that and being like, well, nothing I can do about that now. For now, we just did the gas man. So this was, there's some house fires that were being caused by one of the repairmen at um, Instaheat, it felt like, where families were like winning trips from suburban re the Suburban Redevelopment Fund that to go on this vacation and when they came back oh wow weird their houses are burned to the ground so that's kind of sketchy we didn't really get anywhere else with that just that we we pinned it on one of the insta heat guys that was like an anarchist or whatever so it didn't feel like either one of them did it but hey we had to pick somebody and that's who we picked so for now let's go ahead and roll into the next one i'm not entirely sure what it's called actually it might be an army cutscene now yeah You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. God, Cole's such a stickler even when it's like murdering Just more people that word, aren't needed. Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. Weird. Ooh, a walk in Elysian Fields. Oh, dang. Specifically, this origami is familiar. That looks like the guy from the cutscene we saw that appeared to be the one actually burning the houses down in the last case. That's a, that's a lot of origami. Damn. House fire. A bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is... 650 North Hobart. All right. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Biggs? No. Okay, fuck it. Forget it. I'm fuck teasing it. you, Herschel. Tell me about it. The new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. Though, there's going to have some very angry customers. That's weird. Why wouldn't that be what we'd be checking out if the whole allotment burned down? I know people died at this one, but... Interesting. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. That's ominous. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Oh, God. Wow. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. What does it even happen? Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. 
Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Hmm. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire of damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Fuck up. Why would you run into a burning building? What are we doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Oof. There's a picture of all of them. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. Never the same, are they? I don't know, it was disrespectful about that, necessarily. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? His guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very Weird. disturbed individual, Phelps. I, I got changed Phelps's suit. But you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. At least look at him. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? Sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Oof. Evidence! Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phelps. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating Diggs. Yeah, he's not doing so hot right this second. But first... Outfit time. Okay, I guess it's the same. Also, these guys... Imagine being an arson detective. And, like, your suits would smell so bad. Just smoke all the time. Golden boys. I'd be a golden boy. I think it takes effect, like, the next cutscene or something, maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe not to the next mission, possibly. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. <laughs> we can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. You're not going to get this guy. There's going to be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? Oh damn! You remember the list from the Morellis? Right, sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around. Work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay. Hard to side. If I'm fidgety in this video, my back is all fucked up. I haven't done this for years. Very uncomfortable. But dedicated to the videos. Gotta get these done. You don't look like a fireman, son. Oh, newspaper. That's a good way to start it. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I oh, do. Oh, Ira. He's I'd the like guy. you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I, think I remember this dude now. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. Okay. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only I don't know why I put my camera off. It doesn't matter. I'm back. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. Oh, boy. And the world will be fresh and new. 
I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you help me to find it. Good job, Fontaine. Oh boy. That was like full-on markers, so. Oh, there's the box. Let me check this one out. Looks like the same model. Barley. I hadn't been serviced recently, though. It had been a while. On that one, at least. Let's talk to this guy. LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Bond. James Bond. All right. Really, fire witness report. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look. We were asleep when we heard the explosion. Uh, doesn't feel right. Bad cop off the rip. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Shit. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. All these people are being difficult, apparently. Plan demos. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? Hmm. I don't know. I think he knows that they did. Or they did not want to. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. That stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Trying to cash out. This is actually very familiar because uh, where I'm from, Canton, Ohio, uh, the Pro Football Hall of Fame wanted to build this like huge village like area to like expand the campus of the Hall of Fame, essentially. And like one of my friend's grandmas, shout out to Pat, uh, they like bought her house and like a whole bunch of houses around. Like they're paying up for them, and everyone it was the exact same situation. People had to move out of their houses, and then the NFL stopped the construction on it. Like I think the plan is to keep doing it, but as of now, like they bought up these people's houses for them to all have to move for nothing at this point. They're all still. It's not even all of them have been knocked down. It's crazy. Anyways, you said the Morellis had won a weekend away to Catalina Island. Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. Then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. What? Why would you say? I don't know. You know who did it. I need more, Mr. Foreman. Tell me what you know about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. I know nothing about it. I've never heard of them. Okay, well, good cop was obviously the option there. Damn it. There's gotta be one more thing. I don't understand. This is just cigarette butts right here. Oh shit. Okay. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I wouldn't know that in anywhere. Now can I talk to him again? Suspicious activity, okay. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out though. Bad cop. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Okay. Thanks for your time, Mr. Ford. Smoking man. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. There we go. Nice. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. It looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. It's very random. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. 
I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a huh. waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. You want to buy your old home today. Shout out Leland Monroe. He's, um... Oh, I can't remember his name. In uh, Lord of the Rings, he's Baromir and Faramir's dad. Like that crazy guy at Gondor that jumps off on fire. That's him. It's his, the actor's the guy who plays him. Oh, I see you already have one. Oh, the bottom part. What a trip. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. All right, peace, dude. All right, what's this phone going to help us do? I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Okay. Anything else? Ooh. Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Uh-oh. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? He leads on the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? Interesting. I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. He's like, Good. I don't give a fuck. He don't give Kelty up. Kelty has up. warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's at that end. Well, we should that? check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place. Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Let's check out Elysian Where Fields exactly first. Are we going? Well, you know what? No, we'll go to Rancho Escondido. Us and Biggs are in on it together. He trusts it. We'll we'll take a shot. Shame about Chep. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Want to bet? Fella kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Damn. You know, there are times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. <laughs> oh shit. People are pissed. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not. This is safe, America, dickhead. Sir. Now step huh. back, or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Right. Son of a bitch. Come back here. You're not getting off that easy. Oh God. That's I'm gonna. Eat no, I'm on your guys' side. I'm gonna bust him. Ooh. God damn. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. Let's see. For signs of forced fire. Okay, the clue must only be around here. See, like the whoever made it. Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? You'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. That's that's cool. Huh. Wow. We're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career. Let's bite the <laughs> bullet and get on with it. I'm in. Okay. Well, that's right. That was just at a job site where we saw Alicia Fields before. This is like 
their actual offices, I guess. Are we going to see Leland here? Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? With a police lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. Secretary for the secretary. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. May I help you, gentlemen? I'd like deal. to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Schedule as chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? <laughs> I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. All right, we'll pop a farm here. Cigar. Drink boy. Sure, cigar. Biggs. <laughs> it is at least 5 p.m. 9,000 bucks for a home, 9,800 bucks for a home, 10 grand for a home. We're investigating right. a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. Terrible boys. How can I help? He's supposed to be 52. He looks 97 years old. <laughs> All right, four questions. This is big. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Man, he's kind of hard to read. He's full of shit, I feel like, but like the, I feel like the competition is specifically. Hmm. This is where I'm leaning is accusing for this. Or the weekend away. Here we go. That's only one specific thing. Damn it. I don't feel good enough about either one of them being specific enough, so we're going to go bad cop here. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? All right, here we go. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. Um, I'm not familiar with that one. Well, he's real fidgety now. We know about those. So, uh, you know, the flyers have it right on it. Okay. Accused. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Uh, I think I've got that ingredient in, in plenty supply. Boom. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? Yeah, why not? Local land acquisitions made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Mm. He's kind of fidgety like the first time again. You're going back Come on, on Mr. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. Whoa. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. 
Most people see sense. We're on fire. Three for three. Rancho Escondido fire. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Yeah. Uh, about that brick quality, Why, though. Bro. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. I bet if I There's came no here first, good thing we went to there. Hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. I mean, I went there and saw the poor cement quality. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Light. Gotta check them out. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? <laughs> yes, that's exactly Have what I think. Suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. Contractors I use for waybills. Do you suppose there could be any of them? I have a list of their names if it'd be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Uh oh. I dropped my controller. Glad to be of help, officers. Is that the paper right there? What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Herbert Herbert Chapman. Herbert Chapman is on this That's list. That's that creep from the last episode. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. This is like picking up steam, like very quickly, I feel like. She's right next to me. I love that. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I just wish he'd hurry up and you check whether my ceiling holding a Herbert Chapman. Let me find out for you. He just got let go. He was released this morning, Detective. Damn. I'm sorry, Detective. It's not your fault. Can you give me a last yeah, note to put out an APB on it? Whatever guy? her name is. I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks. I love the chase till the minute I win it. A beautiful face to learn Cole. love for me in it. Give me your and Roy's heart punk ass. And baby, I'll bin it. Cause I always kill the things I love. Buy me a drink, Cole? No. Yeah, why the Not fuck would I? time's sake? Not even for that. You're not going to ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. We'll get around to it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... threats for someone who cares about them, Roy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron Boy. Yeah. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. God, Roy sucks so fucking bad. I said, Rusty's like in his own way, like harmlessly the shitty, about but Roy's home. like a scumbag. Yeah, Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty. He started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. 
Save it, Phelps. Monroe's an ass white. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. The Biggs wanted to go. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Kaplan is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Hampshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. All right, let's do it. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You oh, know shit. Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our oh. paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, That's Jack funny. spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Interesting. That's right. I forgot he's he's not even a private eye. I thought Kelso was like a private investigator, but he's just an insurance salesman. Yeah, about to get into the thick of things. Okay. What a gross day, man. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's mm. somewhere. Is there some kind of problem? Let's take a look at the car. Gladly. Let's see huh. what he's hauling around. Oh, look. Mosquito coils. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. Definitely gives him opportunity. And a whole damn box of them, too. Ammo is probably nothing. Oh, he's got some. We should revise the APP. He's clearly armed. Seven rounds in there. Hold it, Cole. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. No way. He must have caught the trolley. We're chasing we the bus. Fast, Cole. I don't know how I'm going to knock this off of the rails. Some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. 11K requesting assistance. I don't think I can do anything to this. Pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University Street. I'm just riding along. Heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. It's not even a car he's in control of. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm trying to get it on this. Fire truck. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Well, I'm not losing. I'm right here with him. Oh! What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, that was incredible. Well, I gotta do that all that again. I'm just there gonna try to stay behind him this time. Out of the laundromat. Shit, he's seen us. Cops again. I don't remember if it was raining. I already forget. I don't think it was. Oh my god, that was so funny. We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. God, that was so good. 11K requesting assistance. 
in pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University Street That's just it. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to wipe him out. Advise all units. Or make your car stop at least. And driving dangerously. Oh boy. That was so crazy. What a glitch that was. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. I'm staying. There I go, getting knocked off again. All right, I can't be hitting him at all. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow, he turned. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Oh, now I am supposed to hit him, huh? I think this our car's all fucked up now. Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be there to grab him. Don't go to sleep on me. Get it close. I'm literally right here. Give me closer to the driver's cabin. I'll plug Chapman. Oh hell yeah. Okay. My car is so slow because I banged it up. Look, Cole, the side plate's gone. Give me closer. I think I got a shot here. Go. There we go. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Oh. What like the we fuck? Have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Oh my god. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? Fires benefit a lesion in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. It's hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. <coughs> oh, I'll be damned, but that was nuts. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that the end trolley. of the mission? Probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery sure. award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? You'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy would that be? Ooh, okay. I want more cutscenes like this. It's like the backstory stuff. Oh boy. What is it? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. Beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? You want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? He's a good Jack man. Won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He Not exactly. hates my guts. Elsa, we could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Whoa. Is the case not over? Okay, I was going to say... Decent amount of city damage, you know, whatever. Chapman takes his motive and any possible ties to Monroe and Elysian Fields to the grave. Alright, well that was a wild one. Trolley chase. God, that launch into the gas station. That was the most GTA ass shit in any Rockstar game, and this isn't even GTA. <laughs> that was amazing. Alright guys, only four four cases left. We're getting there, man. We are getting there. And this is starting to, you know, gain steam pretty quick. This whole conspiracy, like, corruption is, like, everyone's involved. And Cole's kind of by himself. With hopefully the help of Kelso, even though he doesn't know he's going to be helping him. So, 
very curious to see where this ends up going. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Games. Listen to my dad, and I'll see you in the next video.